Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. We'd like to welcome today David Hahn, owner of Hahn's Air Specialists, energy experts in residential heating and cooling, to tell us about his business and the services his company provides. Welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely. Hey David, you've really managed to grow your company rather quickly. How, how did you do that? You know, I've had a lot of support, and uh, the biggest support I've had has been word of mouth through referrals of clients. And uh, I take a lot of pride in that. We actually have a, a larger referral network than we do off of our advertising. It's, um, it's unique, you know. I take a lot of pride in, just as if you were to refer a client to me, uh, the last thing I want to do is make you look bad or your company or anything. So we take a lot of pride in it. I inspect all the jobs and I hire quality people. Right, right. You know? Very important. You're absolutely right. And, and word of mouth is probably one of the best ways to really grow your business in the positive direction. So yeah. what differentiates you from other businesses? You know, uh, non-commissioned salesmen is what I'd like to think. My service techs are not commissioned. They don't, uh, you know, if they come down out of an attic and tell you your air conditioner's bad, more than likely it's going to be bad. Um, you know, they're not out trying to sell things that people don't need. They're not out trying to replace parts that people don't need. Um, they really almost put every single job, I mean, depending on severity, obviously, of the job, but they put it all on the same level versus someone who may look at a job that's bigger and more important or whatever. That's <laughs> correct. That's correct. I mean, just the other day I took a, a, one of our vans into a, a shop. And, you know, I just, I, I didn't feel right about what the guy was trying to tell me. So I felt like, you know, I, nobody likes pressured sales or sales. No, absolutely. Yeah. So how do you find, how do you, how do you look for qualified employees? What, what exactly are you looking for? And are you currently looking for some? We are. We are looking for uh, employees right now. Yeah. We've been running an ad for a long time. Um, we do a working interview with myself. I ride along with the new service techs to make mm -hmm. sure that they're doing things right in the way that I want them done. Um, I can judge a lot off of a, off of a new employee for, you know, we usually just bring them on and as, as a working, you know, interview and it'll take, you know, anywhere from a week to three days and by then I'll, I'll know if he's going to make it or not within our company. Right. And that's a, that is in. actually a really great idea versus just uh, a lot of people will tell you things that you want to hear, obviously, yeah. when you're going to hire them. And, but it is so important to know what they can do once they're out on the field. Yeah. I mean, we have to do background checks and everything into these guys, too, and it takes some time, and I want to know, know yeah. them personally. Is there an education that goes along or, or I guess, maybe some certifications that are important for, for your industry? There are. Uh, EPA certification. All of my guys are EPA certified. Um, we try to do as much training as we can. I have myself have been down to the Ult Ultimate Technical Academy a couple times, which is a training course that's offered out in Arkansas. Uh, it's very good. It's uh, probably one of the most detailed classes that you can go to. They have, you know, 30 or 40 furnaces hooked up in a room and they break them down and you fix them. It's, it's, it's yeah. quick training. Yes. And so what are some of the services you actually provide through your company? Uh, we do just about everything. Um, new construction, uh, equipment replacement service, we service all makes and models. Um, maintenance agreements, planned maintenance agreements and are, are Maintenance huge. is so important, it is. isn't it? It is. It is. You know, we do a lot of work with uh, management companies, and it's uh, some management companies structure things different than other ones, and the ones that bring us in and say, I want all of our clients on maintenance agreements, we have probably 50% less calls during the year from those than those that just don't believe in it or don't want right. to set it up. Right. So if you could tell uh, the average homeowner what would be the most important maintenance, um, I guess one of the tips that you would give them? Change your filter. Change the filter and clean your drain line. And it's funny, Sun City's the the, the older folks out there, they, they've been around for a lot of times and you'll go up in the attic and you'll see a, a, a bottle of bleach. You know, and they'll, they'll get up on the ladder and they'll pour the bleach in the drain line to kill the algae. And it, it's that's you need to do that to help, you know, prevent the algae from growing in your drain line and clog drain lines, et cetera. Any new advances in HVAC technology currently? Um, there are some 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 major advances, one of them now being with the wireless thermostats. They've become so reasonable um, that, that it's only a couple dollars difference now between a standard thermostat and a wireless thermostat, and you can control it from anywhere in the world. Smartphone, um, Honeywell is a great product. We use a lot of Honeywell products. It's free. There's no monthly subscription. Um, you know, if you go on vacation and, and your, your 
equipment breaks down, it loses power, it actually sends you an email that says you've lost power. So you can get that fixed possibly by the time you get back into town. Right. We highly recommend it for second homeowners. Yeah, that's awesome. Hey, David, uh, quickly, if people want to get a hold of you, get information for uh, from you, how do they get? How do they do that? Um, best is to uh, you can find us online, uh, Facebook. Uh, you know, call the office eight four three six eight three four two four two, or just send us an email and, and uh, I'll respond back, or one of the office staff will respond back. Great, David. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And we'll be back with talk of the town.